Nous ne pas nada. pour le ne pas tirer de tout de l'ada. Ma nigga connaît le tech, t'aimes de faire pour te cova. Des nyaga tchenke, t'aimes de faire du kissai lampa. Des nyaga silendem. Hello from my Gambia, it's December edition of my magazine. So today our guest artist here is Pascal Abouknejako. Pascal, we are pleased to have you. Greetings as well, you know, thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here. Um, Pascal, why did you choose music? Oh, actually, like, I didn't choose it. Probably I might say, like, yeah, music chose me. I didn't choose to do music. When did you actually realize that you had passion for music? Yeah, like, actually, the, the inspiration itself started at home, you know. My big brother, the one I share both parents with, Gambian Chris Black, a big time promoter right now, but at first he was an artist, first he started music before venturing into promotion. So like me living with him under the same roof, it's like seeing him every day doing his stuff, attending shows, writing songs and doing things connected to music. It's like that was where the inspiration started, it started at home. So it's not a surprise. Like I ended up doing music as well. So the inspiration started at home. Basically, so, your brother is your inspiration. He's the number one inspiration. Okay. So, so um, what's the genre of your music, and do you think it's unique from others? Yeah, like uh, probably I might not say call a particular genre that I do, but I'm a rapper. I rap. I rap on different type of beats. I can rap on any type of beat. Yeah. So I might say I'm a hip hop artist, but generally I'm a rapper. How are people reacting to your music since it's something different? Yeah, like uh, when I started music, uh, like I was rapping in more of English, blended with Mandinka and then Olaf. Yeah, but then like, as you can see in the Gambia, like a lot of artists, musicians or rappers or singers are doing the same thing. Like everybody's doing his or songs in the same language. That is English, Wolof and Mandinka. So like in order for you to stand out, you need to do, or in order for you to be unique, you need to do something that nobody's doing. Sure. Yeah, something so I different. went up to a certain uh, point in time that, you know, like I thought wise and said, like, why not? I, because way back I was thinking of Am Amamanjago. Okay. But way back, I was there was an idea that I had to do my songs in Manjago. But I was thinking now, if I should do my songs in Manjago, who's gonna listen to me? It didn't make sense at first. But like, I came to a certain point that I thought wise and said, let me try and do one song in Manjago and see. So there was a freestyle that I did in Manjago, and then like I saw the reaction of the people. You know, like the reaction was positive. So I was like, okay, why not? Let me try and do my songs in Manjago and switch, leave the other language, not totally leaving out the other languages, but then like majority of my songs, so 80% of my songs to do them in my own language. You know, there are a lot of examples out there. For example, maybe like if you say Gambian music today, or if you are counting Gambian artists, like the first one that comes to your mind is ST. I love giving, like making him as an example, you know. ST is one of Gambia's greatest rapper. But then like he does his songs in his own local language, that is the Mandinka language. And he's up there. We have the likes of Sako D in Ghana. Sako D raps in Chi, that's the local language in Ghana. And he has won BET awards. So his local language has taken him far. You know, so there's nothing impossible. Like as we all know that like music has no boundaries. So everything is possible. So that's why I started doing my songs. So most of my songs in Manjago, that's my local language. And then like, it has been a long journey, but then so far so good. We, we're still on the journey and we're gonna get there. I think everything's positive right now. Throughout the journey, what challenges did you face? Oh, actually like, as you all know that like, it's music is something crazy. It's not easy. Like probably if you are not into it, you might think, it's something easy or it's not hard. But then like, if you're into music, you'll know that there are challenges, there are obstacles, there are trials and tribulations, you know. You need to knock down like hard rocks on the way. So it has not been easy because music is expensive. You know, the talent alone, I, I, like, I like saying this, the talent alone can never take you there. The phones alone can never take you there. You need the talent, you need the phones, you need connections as well. Sure. So it's not easy. Like recording a song, you won't go to the studio. The producer will never record a song for you for free. You need to pay for, you need to book for your studio sessions. From the audio, visual, shooting videos, you need to pay. 
like there's a hell lot of challenges in in this music industry it's never easy you know like but those are the most important things those are the, the, the main things uh, like uh, the fonts the talent the fonts and then the connections you know it's not easy but then like no matter what happens you still have to keep the faith you still have to work hard and believe in yourself that you're going to make it someday yeah that is it there are a hell lot of challenges in the music industry you know the fights too and then sometimes like you have your, your your family maybe your parents don't want you to venture into certain things like music as we all know like there are a lot of artists in the game most especially here their parents never want them to do music but then it's something a passion that you have in you and then like these are all challenges you know yeah these are all challenges you face so due to these challenges what have you learned or what lesson have you learned and how has it impacted exactly like for me uh probably if i was listening to like people talking outside like maybe i would have not been doing music today you know like people must talk you know family friends people out there they must talk you know like the concept that gambians have is like when you don't go to school you are useless and then like that's something that we should erase you know from our from our minds yeah like i'm telling you like being an artist and aris is one of the most like intelligent being you can ever come across like just sitting down writing down a song structuring it and everything going to the studio recording a lame person out there can't do that that's not possible like me writing down a song like probably sometimes when when you're not in the mood when you're feeling sad when you listen to music it brings you back to your normal you know to your normal emotions or whatsoever so it's like that person right there making you become a normal being like i guess you have to give respect to that individual sure. yeah so it's not something easy tell us about the journey since it started okay like uh when i started actually i started music officially in 2018 that was when i graduated from high school that was when i fully i was fully into music yeah and and then like i always love to give regards to oh uh, easy t talibe easy yeah one of gambia's finest rapper as well you know he was like the first artist who linked me up and gave me an idea as well for me to start doing my songs in manjago for me to rap in manjago you know at first i told you like that was in that was i took it as a crazy idea or something you know but then like regards to talibe easy easy t thank you so much you know i always love to give regards to him as well so it was a long journey and like the journey is still long we have a long way to go but then like we're still on the way and then right now oh uh, like i'm an ambassador of my own people that's the manjago tribe like majority of my songs i are done in manjago and then like my people are really supportive towards my career right now you know like they got my back and then it's been positive so coming to think of it uh Pascal Abuk Nanjako how yeah. did you come about this name and what does it mean yeah like when i started doing my songs in other languages like it was Pascal the rap maestro Pascal the rap maestro maestro meaning like a, a specialist in something so like i call myself Pascal the rap maestro like i'm a specialist in rap but then as i started along the journey as i started like doing my songs in Manjago i felt like you know I'm depicting my culture I'm depicting like my own people representing my own people an ambassador of my own people I feel like the name itself should also Try be something major yeah, music, exactly I get it. exactly it should speak it. for itself so that was where I came to adapt the name Pascal Abuknanjago Abuknanjago in Manjago meaning Dominjago the child of Manjago yeah music isn't the only thing you do right so yeah. do you have any other hobbies outside music Yeah outside music like what i love most is watching football and playing football as well sports yeah most especially football yeah i do play because it was football way back before music actually okay. <laughs> yeah okay. so i love watching football i love playing football with friends as well throughout your career what music really got you hit like made you fame okay like this was the song that i did uh in manjago like i did the chorus in manjago it's called the title of the song is abuk nanjago de kafur and the song is not even out but then it's just the chorus like 30 seconds uh of the song of the video that i shared 
you know, posted it all on all my social media platforms. That was the video that went viral, you know. And that was a song that made me like start rapping in Manjago. That was where I found out that like this is the way that Who I should take today. Yeah, okay. exactly. That's nice. Sure. So are you working on any projects? Yeah, actually, I just dropped a project like last month. I dropped my first project, my debut EP, that is Njika Biong, the EP. Like, it's a project, an EP consisting of 10 tracks. I just dropped it last month, and then we had an event, the launching of it uh, on the 4th of November at Brikama Box Bar, and then it was a success. And then, like, the project is out there on all social media platforms. Y'all can go subscribe, and then by next year, that one was an EP, next year we'll be dropping an album, like we've started all the works as well. We'll be dropping an album next year, 2023, and then everybody should watch out for that one as well. So five years from now, where do you see yourself? For me, five years is too much. Five years is wow. too much. I love yeah. that. I love that ambition. Five years is too much. Like, I'm not seeing myself like within the country only. Like, we're going internationally. Yeah, because like, I believe in myself. I believe in my craft. I believe in what I can do and I know I can do it. Yeah, that isn't me. Like, I'm just not talking or whatsoever, but then you have my word. I'll be back here one day again. Okay, I wish you all the best with it. Thank you. And uh, what do you have to say to the world? What message do you have to say to the world? Oh, actually, it's your boy, Pascal Abuknanjako. You all know the deal, send boy in Jago Bila. Njika Biung, the EP, out on all social media platforms. Y'all go stream it. Y'all know the deal. And then watch out for our coming up projects as well. The album coming 2023. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Tendim puot mandang katuta kei. Tegal maya pumba mangaluki. Dolen jago mendi gomez perera. Amut serel bro prem to zero serel lak. Y'all know the deal. Wow, 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 wow. So Pascal, what's the platform people can use to follow you? Oh, okay, I'm using all social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, you know, Twitter, or Pascal Abuknanjako. Pascal Abuknanjako. You'll find me on all social media platforms at Pascal Abuknanjako. Okay, thank you, Pascal, for honoring this interview. It's a pleasure uh, being here. We are very happy to have you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow us on our social media platform, My Gambia Tourist Guide. And don't forget to follow the only monthly tourist online magazine, www.my-gambia.com. Oh, yeah. No matter what you do, you a call and your chance is a call and your dog, yo, I no, no, no. It's a call and your dog, yo, I no, no. Oh, my nigga, call me. It's a call and your dog, yo, I no, no.